Hello and welcome. I'm Olivia, your safety trainer, here with today's lesson about backs and lifting. Before we begin, remember to sign off on your mobile device or online to receive credit for this training. If you need to pause this video at any time for a discussion, we encourage you to do so. Back injuries from lifting materials are one of the most common injuries in the workplace. And if you've ever had a back injury, you know that they're not fun. While it's impossible to completely eliminate the risk of a back injury in the workplace, there are ways to minimize your chances of suffering through one. In this lesson, we'll discuss common back injuries and their causes, back protection, injury prevention, and proper lifting techniques. Unfortunately, back injuries caused by improper lifting have become a common safety concern in most jobs. As safety consultants, we see this every day. Employees who experience sprains, herniated discs, or even fractured vertebrae from overexertion. But most back injuries can be prevented when employees avoid bad lifting practices. Although not a complete list, the most common causes of back injuries at work include lifting materials that are too heavy or unstable, lifting objects to or from places that are awkward to reach, repetitive motions such as twisting, bending, reaching overhead, or lifting, working for long periods in bent over or strained positions, falling or tripping over debris, wearing tool belts that are too heavy, and lifting or doing any physical labor before stretching your muscles. Every year, more than one million people in America miss work due to a back injury, meaning one out of every five people who called in sick today did so because their back hurt. So how exactly do you protect your back? Again, it begins with safety awareness. Please remember these simple steps to help protect your back throughout the day. Avoid lifting and bending whenever possible. Place objects where they are easy to access and avoid placing objects on the floor when possible. If one is available, use a dolly or forklift to lift objects instead of manual methods. If a manual lift must be performed, keep the object being lifted between your shoulder and waist. When possible, push an object rather than pull. Pulling puts more strain on the back muscles than pushing does. Don't lift heavy loads. If you're straining under the weight of an object, then it's too heavy for you to lift alone. Get help from a coworker. Make sure there's enough room to lift safely before picking up any object. Know the destination of your load before picking it up. And avoid walking on slippery or uneven surfaces when carrying objects. Preventing back injuries requires practice, but if you follow safe work practices every day, they easily become a part of your routine. Some workers may think that because they have strong muscles, they don't need to follow proper lifting techniques. But all employees, regardless of age or experience, should do their part in helping to prevent injuries. First, always plan your move. Ensure that the path you are going to take is clear of wet surfaces, obstacles and obstructions, and that there are no slopes. Next, size up the load. Look at the location of the object. If the object is overhead or on the ground, think about how to safely reach it or how to get into a comfortable position to reach it. Test the weight of the object that you will pick up for shifting contents. Shifting contents can affect how the object will behave when lifted. Get help as needed. Perform a team lift if the size or weight of the object is too much for one person to handle. Lifting awkwardly shaped objects or odd sized items can be just as dangerous as lifting heavy objects when done alone. If you have the option, use a dolly, pallet jack, cart, or other piece of material handling equipment over manual lifting methods. To help eliminate back strain in the workplace whenever a manual lift must be performed, be sure to remember these proper lifting techniques and your back will thank you. When lifting, get as close to the object as possible. Use a wide, balanced stance with one foot slightly ahead of the other and both heels on the floor. Bend your knees when lifting or lowering objects. This will help you keep the natural curve of your spine. Use your palms to grasp the load, not just your fingers. It's recommended that you place your palms on opposite corners of the object. 
Keep your head up while lifting and lift with a smooth, steady motion. Keep the object between your shoulders and waist area. Pivot to turn in the direction that you want to go. Never twist. Slowly lower the load. Lowering slowly will help to maintain the curve of your lower back and spine. And if you have to lift an object from above shoulder height, be sure to lower the front end of the object below shoulder height. In conclusion, remember to use team lifts or mechanical methods of lifting whenever possible. Another great way to help minimize your chances of an injury is by selecting and wearing a good back brace. For more information on back braces, please watch the PPE Back Braces video in our lesson library. If you have any questions about this lesson, please ask your supervisor. Once again, remember to sign off on your mobile app or online to get credit for this lesson. I'm Olivia, your safety trainer, reminding you to be aware of your surroundings and stay safe. Thanks for watching.